What is up everyone and welcome to a very exciting video. This is pretty much the same video that I uploaded towards the end of last week, but it's a different system and one thing that will hopefully stand out to you guys straight away is that the packaging is much better. So this G4 has come from a viewer of mine, Anna. I struck a deal with her over Facebook. So huge thank you, Anna, for packing this up really well and sending it to me. Uh, great deal, including postage. Massive thank you to you. So that is wonderful. I don't know anything about this G4, guys. I didn't really ask much details. Um, she sent me a photo and it looked great. So I was like, yep, yeah, I'll have the G4. Thank you very much. That is fabulous. So huge thank you to you and to everyone else that has contributed to this project in some kind of way and uh, to everyone that contributes to me in general, really. So just in case anyone's forgotten, the basic plan is I'll be collecting quite a few G4s, um, maybe just these two depending on the condition of this one, but possibly a third as well. And I'm going to be piecing together a perfect condition case out of the two to use for my Powerhack G4 project. Then I'll piece back together another G4 system with all the original parts and whatnot and I'll be selling that off or doing something with it or giving it away or something, I'm not too sure. But I'll have lots of spare G4 stuff hanging around. So don't panic, guys. Um, a lot of people have been panicking about, you know, the G4s being stripped out and that, And but I'm not going to chuck anything away. It's all going to be legit. You know me. Um, I'll make a good few videos after the Hackintosh is built on the G4s, piecing them back together and whatnot, hopefully. So without further ado, let's get the talking out of the way and let's dig in to the second Quicksilver. So this packaging is much better, like I mentioned. It's actually packed properly, which is great. So look at this, guys. This is how a computer should be packaged. It's actually in a double-layered box. This, is, this packaging is 10 times better than the eBay packaging I received last week. I was so shocked that that G4 survived, guys. I really was. Look at this guys, this is just phenomenal packaging. Okay, so there's one layer out of the way. Let's move that up there. And we're on to box number two. Here we have the G4 guys, perfectly packaged. It's brilliant to see this. So let's lift her out. Here we go. Nice and easy. Here is our G4, guys. Whoa. As you can see, nice thick layers of bubble wrap. All sorts of stuff protecting this guy. Cheers guys, um, that was quite something, brilliant packaging, uh, brilliant to the point where this could have survived anything I think. Um, now there's a bit of tape residue, um, but you know I'd rather tape residue than uh, the machine not being protected. That was actually a, quite a strong 10 minutes worth of unpacking guys, so uh, and a brilliant job of packaging. Uh, I'm glad I got this big bottle of water with me because that was thirsty work. So, here we have the G4. My God, my God, <laughs> that, was, that was strenuous stuff, guys. Here we have the G4, looking great, actually. Um, now, it's covered in polystyrene dust and stuff and tape marks, as you can see, but the condition of the machine itself looks really, really good, which is nice. Uh, looking at pretty much all the panels, obviously there's a few nicks here and there. The Apple logo is quite scuffed up on that side and there's, oh, there's quite a few scuffs down here, but of course, you know, the, this side panel on that case is in perfect condition, so this is the whole point of doing this. Um, 
yeah, the whole system's looking great, to be honest. Another nice example of a Quicksilver, guys. Let's open her up and see what we got going in here. Okay, so this is, yeah, wow, let me just uh, make sure the camera angle's okay for you guys. Another nice stock G4. We've got uh, CPU here. The heatsink is slightly different. This actually looks like the heatsink the heat in my old Quicksilver. Um, you know, they had different heat sinks for the different processor speeds. We have three RAM slots, two of them are populated. We have what looks to be the same graphics card, um, but I could be wrong. We'll check when we boot it up. We have the dual hard drive caddy with the original drive in it there. We have, of course, optical drive, power supply, fan, everything stock. It's looking pretty clean inside. Not bad at all, actually. Actually, really clean. So, yeah, nice looking system. It's got a missing PCI bracket cover here, but um, uh, PCI slot cover, sorry, but that's nothing major, of course. So that's this Quicksilver, guys, looking very, very nice. So I've got a lot of cleaning up to do, guys, but there we have it. Another successful Quicksilver unboxing. This one with much better packaging. So thank you very much to Anna for providing this Quicksilver. Um, I got a great deal on it, like I said, so huge thanks. And uh, also, thank you to everyone for watching and all the support and all the comments that I'm getting throughout this Powerhack G4 series. We haven't really started yet and already people are getting super hyped. So I do hope, guys, it's Monday at the moment, obviously. Um, I do hope that throughout the next few videos, we will see this project evolve this week. Um, maybe with some parts coming in and stuff, hopefully. Um, next week will be the, the true unveiling of the, the project as a whole, I think, where we actually get started on, uh, on stripping out G4s and stuff. Or maybe we'll start this week, I'm not even too sure. Um, but from now on, the basic plan is I'm going to refer to the G4 that I unboxed last week as G4 number one. And I'm going to refer to this one as G4 number two. So it's clear to you guys what G4s I'm using for what stuff and all that. I don't think there's any need for me to get another system in. I'm quite happy with two. And of course, um, it's getting pretty full in here now. And I am trying to sell some stuff and whatnot, but some stuff just isn't shifting and that. And, I, and I'm getting quite, quite crammed with stuff. So... Um, getting another system in, I'm not too keen on doing that. I think these two are in good enough condition for me to make uh, a stunning G4 looking case out of the one. And uh, I'm so I'm so excited to do this, guys. So, so excited. I got really, really happy after testing out the Quicksilver because it was just so cool to use a Quicksilver again. And I really hope that the Hackintosh feels like using a Quicksilver. Obviously, it won't be a PowerPC Mac. It won't be a G4. It won't be as half nostalgic because it'll be running, you know, the latest operating system and it'll be really fast and everything. But I do hope that, you know, when I press the power button on the front of the case and, you know, it starts to glow and it boots up, I do hope that I, you know, get a similar feeling to how I used to when I used my Quicksilver all those years ago. So, thank you very much for watching once again, guys. I am well and truly knackered after unboxing that. But, yeah, so excited. Hope you guys are too. And, of course, I will see you in tomorrow's video, which will probably be a video testing out this Quicksilver and uh, checking what the specs are. Thanks a lot, guys. See you tomorrow.